I don't think you can see that, but what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is 3.55 a.m. on Friday. I think you'll probably see this video on Sunday, but anyways, car is torn apart. You'll see that fixed up in the next video, but today we're waking up early. We're making a quick trip to Dallas. I know there's a lot of stuff going on right now in the world, and I just hope you guys are all safe, but I don't really want to dwell on that. I kind of want to keep the channel where it's at and uh, we'll save all that stuff for the news and for other channels. But, let's get into today's video. Kennedy just woke up. Shout out Ken Dog for uh, co-piloting while sleeping. Or sleeping while co-piloting. One of the two. But we are officially selling the 2019 Ram 1500 with 34,912 miles on it. So if you guys don't know, I've had this truck, how long did we say? 14 months? A year. <laughs> 14 months. 12 months is a year, so we've had it longer than a year. So a year and two months, <laughs> that's yeah. it. We've had it 14 months. Kennedy doesn't think it's been a long time. For me, it's been forever. But I've actually, since we're almost here, I'll say it. Hopefully we don't break down, but. I've always wanted No, no, I don't say it. What, you can't say that. I'm not saying that yet. I was gonna talk about the truck, this truck. I've always wanted this truck, guys. I'm talking about this truck we're in. <laughs> Kennedy is like half asleep still, doesn't know what's going on. Anyways, this truck, we're 16 miles away. Hopefully nothing happens, but this truck has actually been really good to me as far as engine and transmission wise. I've driven to Houston twice, or was it three times? No, twice. Taking this truck to Houston twice. I've probably been to Oklahoma five or six times. I've been to Dallas probably, I don't know, seven or eight times. Um, it's been to Lubbock a few times. I don't know, this truck's been everywhere. In 14 months, we've put on almost 35,000 miles. So, like I said, knock on wood, but we're right down the street. Engine and transmission has given me zero problems. So I will say that, although you may say, well, it's a new vehicle. Of course it shouldn't have any problems, but new vehicles have their own problems as well. Now, some of the other things that have driven me absolutely nuts about this truck I've made a few videos on it and I never even took it to the dealer to get fixed because, well, I knew today was coming. I just didn't know when that day was coming. And we'll talk about that later. But um, obviously the wind noise that comes through, I don't know if it comes through the pillar or where it is, but there's a really loud screeching wind noise, but you have to be going like 75 to 80 miles an hour and it has to be super windy out. So it doesn't happen all the time, but when it does happen, it is so damn annoying. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Google it, or I have an older video on it. It is the most annoying noise. Um, the rear brakes still in the morning when it's cold, they still howl really loud. Everyone always commented, just buy new brakes. Well, it was a brand new truck, still is a brand new truck, and you shouldn't have to replace the brakes. It's actually a very known common thing on these 2019 Ram 1500. So that's kind of annoying in the morning, but it goes away literally after a couple minutes. Um, they just kind of howl when you're backing out in the morning. Another thing that's kind of driven me nuts is the screen on this thing. Right now it's not doing it. It's actually doing a good job, but the screen on this thing always has is like ghosting from the previous screen. So like you can see the previous screen kind of layered in the background of the new screen that you pull up. And that's really driven me insane. Those three things, I've kind of driven me nuts. The gas mileage sucks, but that's kind of because it has a lift and a little bit bigger tires and it has the 392 gear ratio, so it can tow a little bit more than the normal 1500, but the gas mileage has sucked, but that's just to be expected when you have larger size tires than factory and the gear ratio that's in this truck. Other than that, the truck has absolutely been awesome to me. Like I said, I had no problems with it breaking down on me just small like quirks and things but with how much towing I did I'm really impressed with how the truck did um, it towed really nicely it was a little loud in here but that's because I did the muffler delete so there was some drone so I don't recommend doing a muffler delete if you're gonna be towing a vehicle because when the load is on the truck it does drone on the highway but like on the way here it doesn't bother me it doesn't bother me at all because we weren't towing anything but the truck overall tows awesome like if you're just towing a car 
you know, within six to ten hours, no like super long hauls, and it's an open car trailer. I think this truck is perfect. I'm sure it can tow small boats perfectly fine, but this truck towed, like I never had to floor it to go up hills or anything. Like this thing has plenty of power, plenty of torque to go up and down hills. Like I said, the only downfall is that it gets crappy gas mileage, but that's, like I said, to be expected. Kennedy, anything did I miss? Uh, no. Nope. I think the truck's been really good other than that. Just the small quirks. Like it's actually been a really good truck. Um, I'll go over the reasons why I'm getting the other truck, but some people might say, and Kennedy would say, this time of crisis that the world is in right now. We're not gonna talk about what it is, everyone kinda knows what it is, but the little time of crisis that we're in, why the hell would you buy a new vehicle? Well, they have crazy deals on them right now because they can't sell any vehicles right now. And I was already, if you guys haven't been subscribed to the channel for a while, hit that subscribe button now, hit the notification bell, but I've been kinda hinting at getting a new truck at some point this year. Now it was gonna be probably later towards summer, maybe the end of the year, but definitely wasn't gonna be this soon. But with what's going on right now, the deals on these trucks are really good. They're giving really good trade-in value. They're doing crazy APRs. They're doing waiting till first payments, like till 90 days out. They're doing lots of incentives trying to get people to buy vehicles because no one in their right mind besides me, which don't do what I do, but besides me are buying new vehicles. So they're really trying to pump them out so if you were planning on getting a new vehicle anyways, you should probably get one now because the deals will never be this good. Which, I mean, you can always get a good deal on a vehicle, but it's easier right now to negotiate because they just need to get rid of them. Um, but yeah, so we are still in the 2019 Ram 1500. I'm not gonna tell you what the other truck is because I'm gonna make that a separate video, but we are getting it in Dallas. And some people ask why I buy out of town and not in Amarillo. I've just found better deals in Dallas because, well, they sell more vehicles in a bigger city. Nothing against anybody in Amarillo, but I typically just find better deals in Dallas or Oklahoma City. Like this truck we bought in Oklahoma, the Mustang we bought in Oklahoma, and now we're buying this truck in Dallas. So I've just found better deals. I literally go to cargurus.com, choose the vehicle I want. Cargurus should be paying me for all these times to talk about it, but choose the vehicle I want, set the distance to like 500 miles away because I'll drive for a good deal and just sort by best deals first and I just go through them that way and this just happened to be the one that I found. So you guys will find out the new truck on the next video. Sorry to string you along but you got to wait till the next video to see the new truck because maybe we don't get it. Maybe the deal falls through. Who knows? But that'll be the next video. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all the 2019 Ram 1500 content that I did at the beginning when I first got this truck, I had a lot of fun with it. It did me well, it served its purpose, but it is no longer part of the crew. Right, Ken Dog? Sure, Dave. Sure, Dave Dog. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this video. We'll see you guys. Not gonna do it? On the next one. Silver, which we're calling it the silver bullet. Silver bullet, according <laughs> to Kennedy. Yeah, we left at like 4 a.m. this morning, drove all the way to Dallas, picked up the truck, and literally got some food and head back. And I was pretty tired, so I had. 
All right, guys, so there is the stock style strut with just some BMR drag springs on there. Like I said, they worked out good for the car, but it was starting to wheelie, and with throwing more power at it, trying to get better 60 foots, obviously it's going to want to wheelie even more. And so we did replace them, or we're going to replace them with the Viking coilers. I already assembled this one just to kind of see how it goes together, but like I said, I got to take it off and put some anti seize on it. But we'll get that one set up.